Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. Samsel. I'm in the classroom today, but you're not here. It's 9:10. It's the time I teach and my classroom is empty. Aren't any boys and girls in the class? Nobody's sitting in the chairs. But I do have a lesson planned for you. And today I want us to be creative. We are going to focus on architects and who they are. Vertical lines, horizontal lines, and three-dimensional shapes. All right, you guys are coming from Miss Sam's art room. Today, since you're all home, I figured we'd make our house. And all you're gonna need it to start with is a simple piece of paper, printer size paper, any size paper. We're gonna have it in a horizontal layout, which is side to side, not vertical. And we are gonna begin by folding our paper in half horizontally. Very good. And then open it up. We also call this the hamburger fold. We are then gonna take our next side and fold it into the line. Open it back up. Your next line, fold it into the line, and open it back up. So we have one, two, three, four folds. So this will be the front of our house, the back of our house, and all of our rooms and outdoor stuff. But our roof is not going to be flat. We want it to be a gable roof or a peak roof. So we're going to fold down the triangle in the front, fold down the triangle in the front. Then we're going to turn it over and we're going to fold that triangle in the back. Nice crispy fold and fold it in the back. Okay, and mine aren't equal or perfect, but in Miss Samsel's art room we say we just have to try our best. It doesn't have to be perfect. Day one of homeschooling and home art with Miss Samsel, we are just trying our best to have some fun. Now we're gonna flip it over back to that front where we're visualizing the front of our house. We're gonna open it up, and this is the tricky part, so I'll go slow. You're gonna take that middle line and you're gonna bring it down. Find the other crease. Now, if you're a fourth grader following this with me, we made some origami houses, and it's kind of that same idea. So that middle fold hat and middle line has to come down, and then this will be the front of our house. Like I said, open it up the inside of our house, and then on the back will be the back. So watch it again if you're like, what happened? We're gonna take this corner, we're gonna push it in. Get a nice crispy fold. Be fold, and that is going to be the front of our house. Open it up inside and back. Okay, now that we've made our house, we are going to make the roof, some windows, the doors, um, whatever details we want to get creative. So I'm gonna start with what's called a scalloped roof to show the tiles that I have. And I'm just going all the way across in pencil. Um, if you want, you can do this in marker. We will color it later. I am in, I'm going to make two windows. So if you want, you can use a ruler. Um, if you have one at home, if not, you can just free draw it. I'm gonna make shutters on the side of the window with some horizontal lines. And I want to put a flower box in front of the window. So first I'm going to make some pretty flowers. Just circles with curved lines around them. I'm going to make the box coming down. And I want to show, um, and we'll do this quite a bit once we get in the inside, I want to show some three-dimensional shape here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line 
To show inside here is where the dirt would be for the flowers or the soil. I'm gonna draw a diagonal line going back and a vertical line. And just this little area shows some depth or space into the flower box. Over here, I'm gonna start my door and I'm gonna do a double door. So I'm gonna make a rectangle shape, a rectangle shape on the other side. I'm not gonna worry about them being perfect on either side. I'm gonna make a handle. You can make that any shape you want. It could be a circle or a curve, get as creative. I'm gonna make some windows to see out my door. I'm gonna make a door frame. If you look at the doors around your house, there is a frame of wood that goes around them and they are cut at a diagonal, which is also 45 degrees to make the vertical pieces and the horizontal pieces line up. I'm gonna make my other window over here. And what's nice about this lesson is you can leave it as a pencil drawing. There's nothing wrong with that. You can color it. Um, when we go into the inside, you can make it the rooms you actually have in your house, or you can make it an imaginary dream house, what you wish you had. There is so much flexibility with any age, whether you are a kindergarten student working alongside me, or a fifth grade student working alongside me. We can all create these houses. So that line was called diagonal, or the same as that 45 degree right there. And then this is a vertical. So now I've got my front of my house. I am gonna make a little light to let people know. I can make my number of my house. I could make some bushes flowers on them. And then I can come back and color that later. Okay, it is time to go inside our house. So we're gonna open it up. We're gonna focus on the middle part. And I am going to start by making a horizontal line and outlining this triangle roof part. And this is always a fun room. Um, you can make it a library or a toy room. I'm gonna make it Mrs. Samsel's art studio. And so I'm going to, of course, what are some supplies I'll need? I will need an easel. So first I'm gonna make a rectangle and that will be where I can do my painting. Now an easel is a very, very tall way um, that you can hang a painting and work while standing up. So you have this wood that comes down. You got your painting and you have this bar that sits on it. And so these two legs would be very unstable. So there's a leg in the back that supports it. And so there is my easel. I'm gonna need a little table where I can have maybe a water cup and some brushes. And of course, I'm gonna need another table that will have my paint. So I'm just gonna put some circles for my paint. And I'd like a chair to sit down when I need to rest on. So I'm gonna make it a couch. When I make a couch, I'm gonna start from the bottom to the top, and I'm gonna start with a rectangle. I'm gonna divide it in half, and I'm gonna make a rectangle that's then on top and I'm gonna make two curved couches on the side. And we talked in the front um, of the house how to make it have three-dimensional shape. So to add a little shape right here where these cushions would be, I'm gonna go back on that diagonal, back on that diagonal, and this is kind of the cushion that I would sit on. This is maybe my armrest. This is the back rest where I would put my back on. And I can just thicken that up on the side over there just to show a little bit of space. And then I'm gonna put another little table there. 
I'm gonna put a circle window looking out and allowing some light in. And now we can start on the other rooms. So think about maybe one, two, three, four rooms and what you would like to add into your rooms. Maybe it's a bedroom, a kitchen, a living room, a toy room, a reading room. Um, use your imagination. We're gonna begin by outlining our folds and then making a horizontal line equal so my room size or my room area is equal. Now, one of the vocabulary words that were on the board today was an architect. An architect is somebody that designs the layout of the house, where things would be in the bathroom, the kitchen, um, sometimes the exterior as well. And so you are gonna be architects while you design. I finished the inside of my house. Hopefully you have too. Um, I made my bedroom with a bed, a desk, the window. I did a bathroom. Don't waste toilet paper. We know that. Later on in some videos, hopefully we can save some toilet paper. Rolls for something creative. My vanity sink. The shower. Of course, the kitchen with the cabinets and all that yummy food. Hopefully none of us are over snacking right now as we're home. The island where we are gathering in the kitchen. And of course, the fridge to get some cold snacks. I wish we had a movie theater, but we don't. Um, but if we did have a movie theater, we would be watching Frozen 2 because that's the movie going on in the Samples house right now. On the sides here, what I'm going to add will be some outdoor stuff. So um, I would like to do some gardening or planting in the summer. Maybe you want to put your trampoline or draw your bikes or just some grass in the sky. Or maybe you want to make a pool. That's up to you.
got my backyard set up with my garden. I like to label things. It helps people know what I'm putting in my pictures. It helps with our writing, which we need to do when we're home. And it helps me talk about my art, which that's what art is all about. So I have Mrs. Samsel's garden with corn and carrots and lettuce the swimming pool with my diving board and our brick fence dividing our property. So, like I said, if you wanna color this, you can. If not, we can come back to it and color it all at one time. Right now, we're gonna close it up and switch to the back. Now that we focused on the front of our house and the inside of our house with all of our fabulous rooms, we're gonna focus on the back. So I'm going to make that scalloped edging for my roof tile. I'm going to make a window. And just like inside with our, or the front with the door frame, I'm gonna make a little frame around my window. And I'm gonna make a tree. And this tree, I want to have a nice, strong branch that can have a rope. So I'm going to do little circles, and that strong rope can hold. And there's another circle, a tire swing. Now I'm going to add the big fat trunk of my tree, making that about two fingers wide, and bringing it in getting the branches and now after I've got a few branches I can start adding some scalloped edges for the green parts of my tree and now that I've got kind of this big shape of the green I look at my art and sometimes I make mistakes too and I'm not really liking the inside of the tree here. I definitely wanted that tire swing, that's kind of a big deal. And I don't really like this line. So if you have an eraser at home, you can erase your mistakes anytime that you can create or you can leave them, um, maybe color it in solid, figure out how to make it happy mistakes. So I'm gonna use my eraser Now that I've erased that all gone, I can go back and just get the tree how I want. And I'm gonna add some grass and some horizontal lines. And now, even though I still got a little erase lines, not worried about it because now I can color. And so I'm gonna show you a few coloring techniques next. Hopefully you've enjoyed drawing your house. Now, if you wanna stop for today and color it later, that's fine. This is art all about you. So you can watch the videos whenever it's convenient and create art with me um, at your own pace. Hopefully you enjoy drawing your house and enjoy coloring it. So yeah. for coloring your house, you can use whatever you want um, and whatever you have available at home. I have some markers and some crayons if you wanna paint it. Um, just be careful with your painting because it could absorb through since this is a drawing on both sides. Um, I did another one and I started outlining Sharpie, which you know I love to do, but the Sharpie started to bleed through and um, didn't really work. So as I made mistakes, I learned um, that my printer paper is very absorbent. So what I use to color will bleed through on the other side. So if you wanna do crayons or markers, it's your choice. Or both.
While you're coloring, one technique I will teach you is a few painting techniques from home this week, even if you don't have paint, whether it's something you have laying around your kitchen or with a marker. With a marker, what you can use is a cup of water and a brush. So I just filled a cup with some water, got a little brush, and I don't want to get it too wet because I don't want it to absorb through the other side. But I can soften up that brown marker to get a lighter brown on the roof. So we can paint at home with our very own markers. Now I can use other stuff like crayons, markers, whatever you want to color. I can't wait to see yours done when you're colored. Okay, today we made the house with our folded printer paper. Our printer paper is very absorbent and when I started the painting technique with our regular Crayola markers and a cup of water, it really bled through. And when I colored the sky with marker and watered it down, it really ruined the front here. Um, hopefully you can learn from my mistakes and as you color today or tomorrow if you decided to, to do it later you um, might want to stick with the crayon even outlining in um, some marker adds some nice detail be aware of how you use the watered down marker technique and um, maybe you can experiment with that later on a one-sided work of art not something that is colored on all the sides laid out all over the place my artwork my water cup and I know as a mother and a teacher that we have to clean up 
So in the art room, we what have do we do? Timer, and we have our four minutes to beat the clock. So your cleanup does, looks a little different since we don't have the tables or the pencils or the art boxes. But whatever you got going on at home, I'm gonna start that timer and play our Tidy Up Roomba song, which happens to be another YouTube video you can play at home. had a fun time creating art with me today in the classroom. I sure did miss you. Please take pictures, uh, post whatever it was that you created today, whether it was just the drawing of the house or if you got to coloring it. You can put the pictures on Facebook or maybe on the YouTube uh, comment section. As we learn together, I look forward to creating more art videos for you so you can stay creative at home. Make sure you clean up your mess and as always, be respectful, be responsible, be kind, and be creative. See you soon.